Good morning, Kauai. Uh, first up, Jim Hill, if we can just wait until we get the microphone to you. Good morning, Kawhi. How are you doing today? Good. Coach was just talking about maybe the most important thing for your club this year is health and staying healthy. What have you done during the offseason that can ensure that you will stay healthy, as healthy as you can, throughout the course of the regular season? Um, same thing uh, I've been doing. Um, just got to make sure that, you know, we, I don't know, um, you know, you just, it's a matter of if you're going to trip on somebody. Uh, you know, a lot of my injuries last year, I stepped on somebody's foot or ran into somebody. So um, we could, got to control what we can control and, um, you know, get the treatments that we can at the time. So uh, listen to your body and keep moving and see what happens. Next, Kelly. Hi, good morning, Kwai. Kelly Johnson with Fox 11. Uh, would love to hear your thoughts on the new uh, NBA player participation policy. Um, what are they? <laughs> just, you know, I know that you've gotten a lot of flat for, you know, load management and just, you know, only resting certain players, you know, in certain situations. So uh, just would love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, I just don't know the policy. Like, um, what is the policy? Though? Just okay. I'm going to ask you a different question, if that's okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Cool. No, it's totally okay. Um, just would love to know how you're feeling, and if you did anything differently in the off season that maybe you hadn't tried in previous off seasons. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, you try different stuff every year. I mean, every every year is a new journey. So every day. So. Um, you do new things, but you gotta, you know, just keep keep going. Uh, there's nothing new that happens. Uh, you're either gonna get hurt, or you're just gonna be lucky enough to, you know, play games throughout the playoffs or the whole regular season. So, um, with that being said, if if you're not injured, people play basketball. So nobody isn't just trying to get to a certain amount of games or. Uh, well, at least me. I'm not trying to get to a certain amount of games. I'm trying to play the games that I could play. And if I'm hurt, I can't play basketball. So the last two years, you know, and unfortunately for me, uh, I got hurt, tore my ACL. Then at the end of the year, tore my meniscus. And I mean, I just, just basketball. <laughs> I'm a two way player, um, play hard. So the injuries are going to come up. I'm not out there just walking around. I play both ends of the floor. I see the best players on both ends every night. Either I'm guarding the best player or the best players guarding me. So whatever happens with that, that happens. Yeah, if the injury comes, that's what happens. I'm an NBA. Thank you. Beth? Um, Kawhi, in regards to the league policy, I think uh, the gist of it is that they want their top 50 stars out on the floor every night if possible. And given that, I'm just wondering if you feel an obligation to play every game. No, I mean, I'm not a guy that's sitting down because I'm um, doing a load management. Like, low, my, when I was with the Raptors, it was different. Like, I was coming from an injury. And you have to know the details of a doctor. Um, but if the league is seeing or trying to mock what I did with the Raptors, then they sh should stop because I was injured during that whole year. Um, but other than that, if I'm able to play, I play basketball. Um, you know, I work out every day in the summertime to play the game, not to sit and watch people play. Um, no. So no league policy is helping me to play more games. Um, if you say basketball asks you, would you play in the Paris Olympics? Uh, yeah, I wanted to play this summer, but I had other obligations and I, but I had to leave early, so I wasn't able to go. So we'll see what happens. We're going to get the microphone over to Tomer. Hey, hey Kawhi, good to see you. Um, I, I'm just curious if, if this summer was at all different for you coming off the uh, the rehab you had last year versus the rehab you had this year. Uh, <clears throat> it's, a, it's totally different. Um, ACL is whatever. I mean, you're tearing a ligament and meniscus is a quick cleanup. Uh, but at least for me it was, so it wasn't a 
whatever eight month process of trying to build a leg strength or build a tendon back. It's just more of a, just letting a, a I guess swelling get out the knee and then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, given some of the you know contract situations this team, how long you guys have been together, do you feel like this is a championship or best year? Do you allow yourself to put that kind of pressure? How are you approaching the season mentally? Uh, I mean, my goal is to try to win every year, so um, I'm not you know looking into you know what's being said. Um, whatever happened is going to happen, so my focus is on the season to win a championship like it is every year. Brian, kind of a follow up to what told me I'm over here to your right. Um, last year coming in, I think we were all curious how long it would take you to kind of regain your form. Were you at all curious at that time and now put yourself in this position knowing how you played the last half of the season, so to speak? Do you have more of a sense of what you're going to be able to do on the floor than you did maybe a year ago? Um. I mean, I'm always confident in what I could do. Um, it's all based on how I'm moving and you know, how I'm feeling the next day. So, you know, last year, started the season probably, you know, we're not, not starting, uh, then to starting and playing five minute segments. So, even if I started anybody healthy, if you start that, you know, it's going to be up and down. Uh, it's going to be hard to find a rhythm. So, you know, once I was able to get to those 30 plus minute marks uh, when I'm playing consistent minutes throughout the whole four quarters, you start seeing the type of basketball I could play. But if I'm coming in playing 15 minutes, um, you're not going to see it because I'm not a guy that's going to come in trying to shoot 15 shots in 15 minutes. I'm trying to win a game. So some of those games I shot three times, some of those games I shot four times. So two five points you start seeing that consistent like oh he, he, i don't know if he could play still but once the 30 minutes came the game laid out for itself so and right now for the same way if i'm able to if they're going to be starting me with 30 minutes you're going to be able to see me play hey tom or uh, tom excuse me hi Kawhi. um where we at? Because oh, I'm right here. All right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, because of the lineup flexibility with you guys, also like last season, a lot of forwards, a lot of guys who can play the two, three, and four. Do you? How do you view your position? Do you think of yourself still as a three? Do you want to play a little bit more of the four? Does it even matter to you at all? I don't know what position I've been playing <laughs> since probably the last six, seven years. Um, it's really a position in this league. Um, depending on your coach and, you know, what, how he wants uh, his offense ran. And, you know, uh, some coaches like their floor to bring up the ball, uh, you know, with the point guard. Uh, sometimes the shooting guard is initiating offense. So it's really pretty, pretty much, uh, you know, the best players today just, you know, put them in the game and put guys around them and, and figure it out who could, you know, uh, help the best players' weaknesses out. So. I feel like that's where the NBA is at today. Going to you right over here. Um, you know, such a rushed introduction to play with Mason and Russ and Bones after the trade deadline last year for you guys. What do you feel like having a full training camp and a longer time to play with them will help you guys accomplish this year, especially Russ, having him in the starting lineup with yourself? Um, you know, bring those guys in late. I think, obviously, uh, learning a new offense, defense. So it's team chemistry at that point. Uh, how quickly can you mesh with each other? And um, you know, pretty much the same thing now, but they're starting with us. They're coming through the whole process of learning our – uh, you know, offense from day one. Um, uh, I think that's going to help out a lot. Uh, just having uh, Russ here, um, you know, backup point guard and Bones, and uh, having two bigs to start the season is going to be big. Is going to be great for us. Um, last year, we were up and down at that point guard position. Um, we only started the season with one big, so it was very tough. And then obviously, with me playing um, inconsistent minutes early. It was really tough for the team, and you know, hopefully, just having all the pieces that we need now and that we have, uh, we can have a better start. And one final question for Kawhi, the gentleman here in the front. 
Elton was a teaching sports team. Uh, from a defensive point of view, do you feel like with the players you have right now that you guys can be one of the top teams on defense this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, we should be holding ourselves accountable to that. Um, you know, being one of the top five defenses in the league once it's done. Um, defense wins the championship, so we got to be on the same page if we want to be a top tier team. Thank you, Kawhi. Yeah.